when I was an undergrad, I was just always fascinated by the brain and behavior and psychology, but I wasn't quite sure what to do with that interest. I'm originally from Michigan, but had the opportunity to move to Atlanta, and I was the practice manager for a psychiatry clinic down there. And when I was there, I just knew that psychiatry is what I wanted to do with my life. But I knew that I wanted to come home to the Midwest. When I was searching for psychiatry residencies to apply to, the Central Wisconsin program was just the absolute top of my list. So I start my day at Aspirus Rhinelander Hospital around 8 o'clock. I like to get here early to get settled in and pre-chart on my patients before our treatment team at 8.30. During treatment team, the residents, students, nurses, and then social work and any therapists will all come together to discuss our patients. We talk about what happened overnight, any new admissions, and then come up with a plan for how we'll best help them during the rest of the day. After treatment team, everyone will break up so we can see our patients individually. And this is when I can really talk one-on-one -on -one with the patients, find out how they're doing, how they're tolerating any medications, and how we can best help them while they're in the hospital. Once I've seen my patients, I'll staff with our attending, this week it's Dr. Billings, so that we can just finalize any treatment plans and any questions about diagnoses. When we've done that, we can work on notes for a couple of hours. And then with Dr. Billings, we'll have a teaching session in the afternoon where we can elaborate on some topic about a diagnosis or a certain medication or anything else that's relevant to our patients. And after our teaching session, we'll see any new admissions or consults and start to wrap up our day around four o'clock. There are so many benefits to being part of a rural residency. When you're here, there's a smaller number of residents, so we get to work one-on-one -on -one with the attendings. I feel that we can deliver much better patient care at a rural location. Because we have a smaller patient caseload, we can take that individual time. That extra time is so beneficial because you can do a thorough job with each patient. And you also feel that you can give the patient what they really need in that moment. At a larger program, I don't know that you would have the time to view someone as holistically as we're able to do here at Aspirus Rhinelander. One thing I love about this program is that we're able to do rotations at just so many different clinical sites. Although we're based in Wausau, we have our rotations here in Rhinelander and many other rural sites in the area, such as the VA and Toma. From each attending, I feel like I've learned something so different and so unique just by the way they interact with patients, the way they think about a patient situation. It's a huge benefit for me as a learner to be exposed to all those different ways of thinking. I think one of the huge benefits of being part of a rural residency program is that I can explore all of these different options. Here at MCWCW, we do inpatient rotations, outpatient rotations, we work for the VA, we have electives and all sorts of subspecialties. We have the ability to also speak with attendings who have had different fellowships. For anyone who's undecided about their future, a rural residency lets you explore it all and then also be able to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one to figure out, you know, what is it like if I chose this as a full career path? You know, one of my priorities in looking for a residency was to be in a place where even as a learner and as a resident, I would be able to make a big impact on the patient population. That's one thing that attracted me to a rural residency program. When you're in a bigger city, it's easy to feel like you are just one person kind of getting cranked out of a system. But when you're here, you have a smaller population and you can become part of the community. There's a huge psychiatrist shortage, you know, especially in these rural areas. So to be part of the solution to that and to, to live in one of these communities is just absolutely amazing.